Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to take a look into the bone tanks because we're gaming yesterday changed some things. So if you would pay attention over there, you would notice that we have a fresh update pretty much yesterday whenever video is recorded, obviously. And we're gaming added object 268 version 5, which you could get previously from Bled Market, if I'm not mistaken, and from uh, from some other events, but pretty much it was pricey tank. Uh, was a 114, which is a tier 9 premium, Chieftain T95, it is old as the world, and it is... Ooh, we will talk about it. Defender, which used to be overpowered back in 2017 or so. So 100 I, which is pretty much lower tier trash barn and some 3D styles. So that sounds very good and very, very fun. Also, quick information, fellas. Um, if you are new and you have no clue about the index page, I would highly recommend to check it out. Type uh, just Google skill for L2 index or alternatively check out description down below. There is many, many things over there from my ratings to community ratings. Yes, you can vote yourself for a tanks. Just simply log in via our gaming API. And if you have 50 games plus with a tank, you can give your opinion, equipment set up by various content creators, crew setup, my recommendations, field modifications, mark of excellence, expectation values, and so on. There is plenty of the stuff to see. Now, we are to find the bond tanks on sale in the game. All you need to do, you need to click on the store and then you need to click the last option or bottom option, uh, the bond badge, right? Easy peasy and then you can find plenty of the different stuff over there, right? Uh, from the tier 10 special tanks, I repeat special tanks, not a premium, and uh, then from tier 9 down to tier 5 premium tanks, and it's relatively uh, cheap, you know, it's just simply a good price to pay, you do not need to open your wallet, although keep this in mind, bonds is the currency uh, which is hard to come by uh, uh, in the game. So, starting our journey with M60, right, it is a tier 10 special tank, it is pretty much a different version of the Paton, it is significantly faster than the Paton is in my humble opinion, right, uh, and it has better gun handling, plus on top of that it has very very nice um, uh, heat ammunition, in my opinion it is tiny touch weaker version of the Leopard, do I think the tank is nice, I think the tank is nice and I think uh, it, is, it is quite fun tank to play with, but keep this in mind, armor isn't found on this tank, so you cannot expect to bounce many shots. And overall, it's a comfy tank to play if you know what you are doing. Uh, next, we have 1 to 1B. 1 to 1B is the tier 10 Chinese special tank. It is not premium. You won't make credits. Uh, and this vehicle is very similar to the Paton, but it's not. It doesn't have gun depression, right? Uh, gun overall is okay-ish. You have the same situation with a um, gold ammunition, right? 350 hits are shredded all heavy tanks like there is no tomorrow so it's kind of easy to penetrate it has nice penetration with a high explosive so all scorpions grilles trash burns uh, light tanks can be easily eliminated with a high explosives um, and overall the tank is okay although um, very important thing to say, the tank is burning frontally and the gun depression is only minus 5, so uh, that's kind of a stinker. So you need to keep this in mind, if gun depression is a problem, then it's no bueno. Meanwhile, next, we have Fava 200... 15B. This tank used to be a, a Tech 3 vehicle back in the day, and in fact, it used to be a, a Clan Wars revered. Uh, well, not Clan Wars revered tank, but it was Clan Wars uh, uh, tank. People used to take it in the Clan Wars to fight uh, uh, strongest tanks, uh, strongest clans against the strongest clans. But nowadays, uh, since Super Conqueror entered the game, this tank is irrelevant, in my opinion. It has pretty much the same gun as Super Conqueror does, but it doesn't have anything else. Uh, the gun depression is minus 7, Super Conqueror gun depression is minus 10, armor of the Super Conqueror is better, uh, it's just it's just not very uh, nice as a vehicle, right? Honestly speaking, you cannot side scrap, you are burning frontally, uh, it's just not a good tank. Only one thing what this tank actually has is gun, but do you want to snipe with a heavy tank? Well, you tell me. I would not recommend to get this one, honestly speaking. Moving on, next 113 bow. Uh, there is literally no reason to get this vehicle overall because it's literally the same version of the 
Chinese uh, 113 that you can grind, right? Actually, no, you cannot even grind this tank. I, I apologize. You can you can buy this tank for 6,000 credits and collector vehicles, right? What does it mean? Well, that means... Um, if you are researching any of the Chinese tier 10 vehicles, you can simply click over there uh, and you can buy the collector vehicle just like this, just like this, fellas. So what is the point to pay um, bonds for this 113 bo? Well, there is one feature which this tank has and it is giving you the crew with a brother in arms, right? But to pay 15,000 bonds or whatever that is uh, for this tank, I do not really think it's worth it. I honestly simply don't think it is worth it. Moving on next, the new addition into the store, it is object 268 version 5. Now, the tank isn't the best tank in the world of tanks, but it is not the worst garbage ever, right? It is average tank in my opinion. Armor, definitely not reliable. Gun isn't the best gun in the world of tanks. It's hard to play hold down um, because you have a humongous cupola on top and overall it feels like a T10 hull uh, with some kind of turret on top. You know, this is how it feels like. Um, so, Honestly speaking, fellas, for me, this vehicle isn't worth too much attention, but, uh, you know, in the end of the day, it is completely up to you. Uh, and once again, if you want to see more information about one or another tank, right? I would highly recommend to check out index page and you can find uh, and you can find plenty of this stuff. In this situation, you know, as you can see, this vehicle is rated average and in the same time you can find all the videos which I had with this tank, best softs and so on. So you can get a bit more detailed information. Overall, one thing, what is good 750 alpha damage, that's it. I think this is where the story ends of this vehicle and there is nothing else to say about this tank. And over tank, the destroyer you have a turret but that's about it okay Fosh 155 Fosh 155 once again it is a tier 10 special tank right in other words it doesn't make credits and some people love this vehicle with all their hearts some people are saying Fosh is extremely fun to play uh, and I agree that this tank can be fun to play but overall it is frustrating vehicle uh, yes you have 750 alpha damage yes you have three in the magazine you need to wait for 45 seconds until you will reload full clip after that uh, five seconds e after each shot you can do potentially uh, 2250 uh, damage but the gun is super inaccurate the platform isn't reliable and overall you you know this tank has a nickname 750 dpm skill why because you are missing two shots and you are getting the third one or you are hitting the first one then you are missing other two shots you know that's why people are making fun of this tank and overall we are competitive Gameplay goes, I don't think it is competitive. We are the fun gameplay goes, uh, fine, fair enough. Uh, people can enjoy themselves and people can have a, a great time playing with this vehicle. Moving on next, was the 114. Now, was the 114, in my opinion, is one of the worst tier 9 tanks in the game period. Um, it has a disgusting gun handling, uh, although alpha damage is okay. But considering that this tank and E75 is the same tier, it's laughable. This tank is just simply pile of kaku do not buy it don't spend your hardly earned bonds uh, it's just simply not worth it moving on next we have a black dog we have the uh, sandlock and we have the chinese bulldog so those are the three lights which we have currently on sale um and let's start everything with a black dog black dog is not your typical light tank with this tank you are trying to do as much damage as you physically and possibly can for obvious reasons um it is not the best scout where the spotting goes but it can do the job done but keep this in mind that the tier eights are in uh, impacted with ELC even. So if there is one team has ELC even and the other has Black Dog, Black Dog cannot outspot ELC even unless ELC even will say Doo! 
But other than that, you know, you are not as superior. That being said, you have a nice gun. 240 alpha damage with a standard ammunition. And the most important thing is 320 with a, uh, with a high explosives. And you have 102 millimeters of penetration. So all scorpions are your meatballs or other light tanks are your meatballs apart. Uh, some exceptions like LT-432 and whatnot, right? So if you are getting this tank for yourself, make sure that you are going to shoot the um, high explosives, right? And you know uh, how paper tanks looks like in uh, the game. Meanwhile, Next tank would be uh, Shitluck. Shitluck is a bit better spotter than Black Dog, but um, where the damage goes, Black Dog is superior over Shitluck. Shitluck has the same situation like Black Dog does. It has a good penetration with the high explosives compared to the industry standard, but uh, the alpha damage is significantly lower with a standard ammunition and with a high explosives, but it is tiny touch better spotter. Is it is it worth to buy this tank? I would say it is it is it is okay, but it's not the best uh, um, tank um, overall. Now we have a Chinese bulldog. Chinese bulldog is having extremely awesome gun, but unfortunately this tank is losing this awesome uh, high explosive penetration. So high explosives are absolutely useless. And overall, spamming gold with this tank isn't uh, really that great of the choice. So mainly you should have standards. Um, can you spot? Well, same goes for this tank. You cannot compete against the ELC events. You just simply can't, but you have an accurate gun, right? That's all there is to say about this vehicle. Moving on next, we have, uh, we have Schmutz. There is three versions of this tank. There is uh, Schwarzmutz, there is Mutz, and there is whatever else schmutz, right? So there is three versions of the tank. This is the oldest version, uh, and all of them are the same, just visually a bit different. Um, overall, where the tank goes, it's definition of average. Nowadays, it just simply feels outdated. Um, it just does, right? Uh, the highlight of this tank is gun is actually okay-ish. Uh, 250 alpha damage and you have a nice high explosive penetration, 330 alpha damage and 900 penetration. Is it awesome? Uh, I would not call this tank absolutely definition of awesome or something. This is definition of the average in my opinion. I would not recommend to get this vehicle for bonds. Uh, after that, we have Guard, and Guard is quite an interesting tank. It is like a tank destroyer and the medium body, but if you are a top tier, you can actually be quite aggressive and you can make quite a bit of pressure. You have nice 390 alpha damage, you have pretty good accuracy so you can snipe, and whenever you are top tier, you can um, go and make a bit of pressure. Uh, same goes for a Guard, fellas, that I would highly recommend to check out the index page there is plenty of the um of the videos especially the especially the uh, best offs where you can see a lot of damage and you can see how I played with this vehicle. Um, and overall, it is okay tank, honestly. At first, when it came into the game, I thought it is weaker than it actually is, and now I think the tank is actually all right. Moving on next, a pot on care, uh, avoid, do not buy it. The tank is outdated. It's just, uh, don't get me wrong, I like the tank, but it is outdated pile of cacqua. I would ne not recommend for anyone to get this vehicle. Literally useless. Um... After that, we have a Lorraine Forte T. Now, Lorraine Forte T is an interesting one because this tank has potential. It is pretty much French T8 autoloader. Um, you have four in the magazine. You have 300 alpha damage, so you can do uh, pretty much 1.2 thousand um, damage very, very quickly, right, with a quick burst of session. Uh, and... The tank would be kind of okay, but it is extremely hard tank to play with. I would not recommend it for a new player ever, ever pretty much because the size of this thing is humongous. You have no, uh, no, you do not have any armor and anyone will shred you. Uh, if someone has a bigger high explosive, they will simply shred you, you know? I'm talking obviously about the high explosive um, penetration. Overall, tank isn't horrible, but it's for a new player, it's just avoid, avoid, avoid. You need to know what you are doing in order to uh, have a good time with this tank. Chieftain T95, the new addition uh, of the Bond tanks, in my humble opinion, this tank is absolutely pile of kaku. The tank is literally smelling like a cow a tort or cow cake in the field during the summertime, okay? Uh, the tank has absolutely nothing to offer. Literally. Uh, yes, this is the review of the tank. Avoid. 
literally. Um, after that, we have T34-3. There is plenty of the T34-3 lovers out there, uh, but probably one of the bigger problems of this tank, the tank can be derpy, so you need to be uh, somehow closer to the enemies, and not everyone can make six and a half of the gun depression um, to be used, right? Um, overall, it's not my favorite tank. I would rather play with a guard, but I know some people like to bravel with this tank. They like to um, uh, load 250 heat penetration and just shred the enemies in this way. Overall, I would not say that this tank is super duper hyper turbo um, good, to be completely honest with you. Um, so it's up to you. Do you want to have a big medium tank? Do you want to have a medium tank with a humongous alpha damage or not? Moving on next, Esterva 81. Uh, avoid, uh, not a great tank. Uh, but this tank has absolutely nothing to offer. It is pretty much another version of the Prime of Victoria, pretty much useless in the game, literally. Do I recommend to buy it? Absolutely not. I would not take this tank for free. Um, after that, we have IS-6. Believe me or not, IS-6 still can work and IS-6 can still uh, show the teeth, right? Um, the tank is all right. Uh, the gun handling isn't horrible of this tank, but the tank is a bit outdated. The penetration for a heavy tank to have 225 millimeters of penetration, sure, you cannot meet tier 10s because this tank have pref much making, but other than that, you know, it's just simply... Uh, not ideal. For a newer player, it's okay. Uh, whenever you are top tier, whenever you are meeting tier 6s, that's okay. But other than that, I would not call it a meta tank and I would not say everyone needs to have IS-6. It's just not the case. Ears did uh, a bit of the toll on this tank. It's not the worst, but it's not the best, you know, somewhere in the average category. Now, we have Defender, and Defender is quite an interesting tank, fellas. Defender overall would be extremely good vehicle where the armor goes, it's trollish as F, even tier 10s may struggle to penetrate you, you are going to get uh, um, a lot of bounces because, eh, yeah, the mother uh, USSR, you know? Uh, but the biggest problem of this vehicle is, uh, unfortunately, a gun. Gun is so disgusting that some people are rolling with ventilation, stabilizer, rotation mechanism, or ventilation, stabilizer, improved aiming unit. Uh, you know, they are just trying to maximize the gun handling as they physically and possibly can, and this is the worst thing. But for beginner... For a beginner, this tank is bread and butter. The armor, the amount of the armor is nuts and it is very, very good thing, right? So would I recommend it for a beginner? Absolutely. Cover 5. Cover 5 is a tier uh, 8 USSR heavy tank. Some people are looking at it uh, as a meme tank. Uh, I do not find it too funny unless you want to go for ramming, right? Then you do not care. Then you are just going and ramming someone and uh, you are forgetting about uh, this tank. The thing is, there is plenty of the weak spots. Weak spot, weak spot, weak spot. A skill you can reverse side scrap and you can do that. Yeah, you can, but usually there is no time to do that considering that uh, um, the games are five minutes uh, nowadays, right? So overall, I think the tank is average in the best case scenario with a bit of the trollish potential. I do not hear, I do not understand this tank phenomenon, honestly, and I do not think this tank is the best. Um, alpha damage of this vehicle is 300. Um, the standard ammunition, 196. Yikes. Uh, the gold ammunition, 219. Yikes. Only one positive thing is this tank has a pref matchmaking, if I'm not mistaken, right? So um, you are not going to meet the tier 10s unless you will play in platoon um, with tanks without pref matchmaking. Moving on next, IS-5. IS-5, okay, I will describe this vehicle in one word. Avoid, not to get this tank. The biggest problem with this vehicle is like Defender, but Defender... Defender has armor to pay for its lack of the gun abilities. This tank doesn't really have that good of the armor. So you are pretty much getting a budget Defender, which is worth absolutely nothing, in my opinion. Avoid IS-5, don't look into this tank. Um, it is just not a great vehicle. The gun is messing this tank up, and this is the main reason why the tank is um, so bad, at least in my opinion. Uh, cover 4 Kreslevsky. Now, Cover 4 Kreslevsky is not that bad. You can side scrap with this vehicle 
while you have uh, a nice penetration with the standards 227. Uh, you have extremely good penetration of the gold 280, um, nine millimeters of penetration, good shell velocity. So that basically means if you are a bottom tier, you can even shred the uh, higher tier tanks, right? Uh, you can slap those heavy tanks. You can try to keep a bit of the distance and the gun handling as well is not the worst thing uh, ever. So overall, I don't really think this tank is bad. If you like the cover 4, there is a big chance you will like this tank. Although there is exceptions of people who like Skava 4, but they do not like this tank. And that is okay. Um, Chrysler GF. Extremely easy tank to play for beginners, in my opinion. It's not a rocket science to side scrap with this tank to make angle like this and just simply a side scrap. Uh, to destroy the lower tiers, uh, it is quite nice thing, but um, this tank has quite bad penetration with the standard ammunition. And where the gold goes, gold is okay, but that basically means you need to spam the gold, and that means you won't make as much credits. Overall, not a bad tank, not a biggest pile of kaku, uh, but you will have issues whenever you need to use your gun depression. So in the city maps, you are okay. In the open maps, whenever it is a hilly terrain or something, it is it can be um a bit troublesome to say that the least right but overall not a bad tank patriot Patriot is quite an, quite an interesting tank. In my opinion, it is worse version of the T-32, but what is the most positive thing about this tank, believe me or not, is the price of the standard ammunition. You are paying 255, you are doing 240 alpha damage, you have relatively good DPM, you can play hold down because you have a gun depression, so that is okay. Uh, and uh, overall pretty uh, good penetration as well, but you need to know how to play hold down. If you won't be able to hide your hole, it is going to be a bit of the struggle and it is going to be uh, quite a hard way uh, to play with this tank, to be completely un honest with you. Um, other than that, it is okay. Uh, definitely not the worst choice whatsoever, and I am pretty sure that plenty of the people even nowadays are using this tank as a main credit grinder. Now we have Liberty. Liberty got buffed some time ago in the past it used to be a pile of kaku but we're gaming uh, um buffet the gun handling so in my opinion nowadays it is okay uh and in fact for a newer player i would say that liberty is better than a patriot believe me or not uh you have 300 alpha damage obviously uh, unfortunately you are paying a bit more for ammunition uh but other than that it is completely fine uh the minus of this tank is you cannot side scrap if you will side scrap you are going to uh, make your uh, shoulder weak and obviously Cupola. This is a drawback of this vehicle. Moving on next, we have uh, Alpine Tiger. Okay, Alpine Tiger, in my opinion, is just simply, this tank has only one good thing, and it is a skin. I mean, look at this sneaking uh, tiger. What a beautiful cat. Prrr! That's all I have to say about this tank. Other than that, it is not it is not a great vehicle. There is nothing to say. Gun handling is uh, uh, derpy, unfortunately. Made in China, nothing. What can you do about this? Speed is actually okay, but uh, uh, the armor is kind of laughable as well. It's just not the tank which I would say would be worth bonds or overall to pick up uh, from the current vehicles in the game. After that, we have a Trash 103, or as someone is saying, Treasure 103. No, Trash 103. For me that's it this damn stick that's it um Overall, the tank isn't bad. You can bravel a bit with this tank, especially whenever you are playing hold down. You have extremely good penetration, 258. You have extremely good gold, 307, right? So you can uh, kind of go into the heavy line, try to play hold down. You can penetrate the enemies relatively easily you have a very nice uh, alpha damage but some people hate this tank um camo there is no camo to be found and this is the problem right um unfortunately so since this tank has no camo it's kind of this is this is just not ideal and it is not uh, uh that great right but overall it's not a bad tank if you know how to bravel with not so armored tanks i think this tank can actually work and this tank can uh, be good okay we are done with all tier eights boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and um, the tier tens and nines now quick thing to highlight there is no tier 7, 6, or 5 tank which would make better credits than a tier 8 premium, right? Even a bad tier 8 premium more likely will make more credits than a good tier 6 or tier 5 or tier 7. 
That being said, I would highly recommend not to consider any of those vehicles whatsoever, even though some of them are not so bad. As an example, uh, M10 is a bloody seal clubber vehicle, the, the slapper of the lower tiers, and you can find plenty of them having some fun in the game. But the thing is, the credit input which this tank will make it just not even close to alpine tiger so this is this is the thing if you are looking for a fun tanks at least in my opinion to um to play the game um yeah m10 is okay su 100 i is very specific but it's like a trash burn in the tier 6 right bad platform but uh good alpha damage tiger 131 is kind of all right is3 um is2 s is kind of all right uh, but other than that, there is nothing. Uh, there is nothing to take. Those four tanks could be discussed, uh, and you could consider them. T23 Echo 3, extremely hard tank to play with, uh, and there is no reason I would play this tank over T20. Uh, Panzer 4C, slow uh, pile of kaku with a good gun with no armor. Um, Panzer 4 Hydrostat, uh, same situation, nothing usual, nothing unusual for a tier 5 tank, and it's just simply not worth it. And T34... S is just average uh, tier 5 tank, right? Honestly. And obviously, if you want to see more things, uh, you can check out the index page and you are going to find uh, relatively fresh videos on every tier 8 plus. And with the tier 7s, we are working towards uh, uh, refreshing the knowledge and refreshing videos with one or another tank, right? Anyways. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please um, leave the like. It means a world for us. And I hope that I will save you some uh, um, some bonds and some disappointment from uh, uh, getting the tank that you won't like and you won't enjoy. Anyways, that was your daily dose of skill. I am out for today. Take care. Peace.